Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God. It's the Revelator once again, hoping you had a great week as we meet again for yet another spectacular, exclusive presentation from the Word of the Lord. Now, last time we were focusing on the fornication demon, the demonic spirit of fornication, and I explained and took you through finding the addiction the habit don't tie in the spirit now today i want to take you into yet another creative dimension inside the word of revelation and today we are focusing on the homosexuality demon the homosexual demon and inside the homosexual demon we are focusing on the adulterous generation so child of god i need your best attention in this presentation as the holy spirit will be ministering to you i need you to pay your attention using your spiritual mind and open your spiritual ears so let's get into scriptures in the book of romans chapter 1 verse 26 and it reads for this cause god gave them up to vile affections for even their women did change the natural use into which that is against nature the scripture that we have read here is explaining about the nature that was twisted and shifted meaning that women being natural creations of god that were extracted from a man they were given a certain nature that is of humanity because they were created from a man who is also a human and women were given a certain specific use which is natural they were given a spiritual and physical spiritual functionality that is different from men and part of that functionality that is in the physical which defines them as being female is having an opposite sex feature to that of a man i hope someone is understanding what i'm saying but then the devil introduced a corruption and the corruption that the devil introduced inside the natural woman who was given a natural use who was given a natural identity which is unique in the eyes of the lord is the identity which opposes the creation nature of god and the creation nature of god that is original was that a woman should get married to a man being a female she must join her body with a male but instead a woman was then imparted with vile affections by lucifer the devil for even their women reached an extent of changing the natural use into that which is against nature when we now talk about a level of that which is against nature we are now talking about a stage in which a female in which a woman found it proper to oppose the standards of the affections that were meant to operate inside a body and the standards of the affections was that a woman was meant to be for a man and a man being for a woman but instead because of those vile affections a woman was now given feelings and affections for another woman which we call lesbianism 
a state in which two women find it proper to join their bodies in a sexual setup that is not productive and a woman being given a reproductive system which is a reproduction system inside her she was designed by God to multiply meaning that whatever sexual affiliation that is legal in the eyes of God that a woman was supposed to be involved in was supposed to be a reproducing cycle that is permitted and allowed by God but instead for this cause God gave them up to vile affections the reason why God gave them up to vile affections was because there was a disobedience that was done by a woman from the very beginning in the garden of Eden when the woman did not take orders did not take instructions did not submit herself under a man and I'm talking about Eve in the garden that is the very first moment when a woman exposed herself instead of being under the protection of a man and the sin continued to circulate and the cycle of sin continued to circulate in every generation until God gave them up to vile affections and then a woman find it proper to join her body with another woman why because she no longer found the authority of her husband as necessary now let's find out why the woman no longer found the authority of her husband and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman bend in their lust for one another towards another with the men working with with that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of an error which was meet meaning that also men reached a point of leaving the natural use of the woman and bend in their lust for one another when the scripture says men were bent in their lust for one another the scripture is trying to give you a clue in the spirit that also men started joining their own bodies together and the reason why men were joining bodies together is because men had lost favor and the grace of protection in the sight of god we know very well that adam was obedient in the garden until eve was introduced and adam was supposed to have responsibility over eve until eve lost control and after eve lost control and like i've said earlier continued to circulate in every generation to the level that also men was affected by that sin because men was supposed to take responsibility that he, he had been given by god but he did not take that responsibility in the process therefore men also was given those vile affections when we talk about vile affections we are talking about defiled affections affections that are not created by god but affections that were tolerated by god as a punishment and the men started lasting for one another which we call as gay we even now have the gay and lesbian community and we have governments that are endorsing gays and lesbians and all together these fall under homosexuality in which a government system actually passes a bill in actually a system where the government is actually sponsoring gays and lesbians promoting homosexuality 
when we talk about homosexuality it's not only the government system that is promoting homosexuality in every television show in every music label in every creative art whatever you call it they are now promoting homosexuality which gives us evidence that we are now in an evil adulterous generation when you talk about the evil adulterous generation we are talking about a generation that has been given a redundant mindset by lucifer the devil they've given that mindset of being ignorant to the word of god to the level that they have supported homosexuality at the level of promoting it through marketing it even through entertainment circles now they are striving and pushing with all that they can use to make sure that homosexuality is appreciated as normal just like the normal marriages of male and female they wanted to reach to that extreme level whereby you can even come across homosexuals kissing in the street it used to be something that was happening behind the scenes but now it is being brought to light in this evil adulterous generation and when we talk about the adulterous generation we are talking about a generation that has forsaken the lord jesus christ as its husband if christ had remained as the husband and we submitted ourselves under christ as the wife has submitted to the husband and as the husband has submitted under christ we do not be having this level of corruption and disorder and the scripture continues saying and even as they did not like to retain god in their knowledge god gave them over to a reprobate mind which is a redundant mindset to do those things which are not convenient doing those things that are not convenient are those things that are homosexual inspired homosexual is a demon and what type of a demon is this it's not only one demon but it's a demon that has got many subordinates of demons meaning that we have a spiritual wife and a spiritual husband now let me start by talking a spiritual wife in a reflection to lesbians when two spiritual wives cling unto each other in the spirit all they need are two bodies in the physical and when they find two bodies it means two spiritual wives can cause two bodies to cling together and there's a vision of a spiritual wife and a spiritual husband which also enter two similar sex bodies meaning two females and one behaves as a man and another behaves as a female and being a female she has to find that other female with the features of a man and all this will be a monopoly that will be happening in the spirit i hope someone is understanding what i'm saying because when the other female is possessed by a spiritual husband she starts to develop the feelings that a man feels when a man sees another woman meaning that the other one that is possessed by a spiritual wife being a female she starts developing female a, 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 a feelings for another woman in the same way that she feels in the same way that another woman feels for a man all this will be happening in the spirit but what you people see in the physical are two similar sex bodies not opposite sex two similar both females falling in love 
not knowing that this is a relationship between a spiritual husband and a spiritual wife. I also gave you a version of, of two spiritual wives. That is another level again of lesbians in the spirit. Where two females actually feel the same for each other under the inspiration of two spiritual wives. Same applies to the males. There will be one spiritual wife inside the body of a male. This is why you end up seeing a man wearing a weave, a man wearing lipsticks, a man doing all types of makeup that are done by a female. That is no longer an ordinary man. That is now a spiritual wife that is possessing another man. And there be another man that is possessed by a spiritual husband. And when he is possessed by a spiritual husband, he is given feelings to see the beauty. Or he is seduced by the spiritual wife that is inside a male body. Meaning that when he looks at another man, he gets attracted in the same manner that a man gets seduced by a woman in the normal relationship of male and female in the physical. I hope someone is understanding what I'm saying. So, when we talk about an adulterous generation, we are talking about a generation that is forsaken Christ as the husband and by forsaking Christ as the husband this generation is also forsaken the rules of marriage which inspire that a woman is supposed to be submissive under a husband meaning that a woman no longer finds, finds that covering under her husband and also a man no longer finds the necessity of a woman and it becomes an adulterous generation but the adulterous part of it does not begin on this realm it begins by forsaking the commandments of the lord jesus christ i hope someone is understanding what i'm saying jesus talks about an evil generation and at a later scripture he talks about an evil adulterous generation this is not just adultery in the physical. This is adultery in the spirit, which is evil. And it's actually a certain generation, meaning that there is a generation that is coming. Homosexuality is already here, but there is a generation that is coming where homosexuality is going to be as normal as any other marriage that is normal. Right now, homosexuality is abnormal because it hasn't covered the whole world there is a generation where the adulterous generation that has forsaken the commandments of the lord is going to be adulterous to the level that homosexuality is going to be normal as any other normal marriage we all know that homosexuality is abnormal so you understand the abnormality that I'm explaining, that is going to be there at the level of abnormality that is still in this current generation. This is why I'm talking about an adulterous generation. So when I'm talking about an adulterous generation, I'm talking about a generation to come. Child of God, I want to pray for you so that you don't become part of this generation in the current season and that your child does not become part of that adulterous generation in the next season to come. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, give them the natural affections that are male and female. For God loved the world and He created men in His own image. He created men to be with a female and a man shall leave his parents to cling unto his wife that is what you created you created a female to be with a male and a male to be with a female that is 
the proper setup that we know not this adulterous generation in the mighty name of jesus we pray in the name of jesus child of god i hope you've understood until next time the grace and mercy of our lord jesus christ be with you